Today is the 1st of March, 2014. We have Chong in the front seat. John in the back of this 1945 North America built SNJ-6. Also known as the T-6 Texan of the Harvard. And this aircraft is used as an advanced fighter trainer of World War II. It was the last step a cadet would take before they were winged. Went on to fly single seat fighters like we were just talking about. The Mustang P-40, Spitfire, Hellcat, whatever. What the Allies were using. The particular airplane we're sitting in about May of 1945, as are all three of the airplanes we operated at Warbird Adventures, all started their career with the U.S. Navy at Pensacola Naval Air Station. Pensacola, Florida, serving the Navy till mid to late 50s before the tap was finally retired. Weather, wind 350 at 6, visibility 10. Sky conditions, 4,000 scattered, temperature 21, 2.15, altimeter 3024. Visual approaches are in use, landing and departing runway 33. Notice the airman, runway 624 is closed, actually golf is closed. I'm going to put it in no delay crossing to the right three. Alpha cross 24. Okay, nope, cross 24 as well, sir. Thank you. 90. Yeah, it's not even paying attention. This is a run-up area over here. He's actually blocking a taxiway. Yeah, it looks like he's texting or something. Yeah, what it is. I'll keep my mouth shut. I'll be nice. All right. <laughs> okay. Elevator and rudder flaps are up. Trim is set. Right fuel tank is selected. Profit makes your full forward mags on both. Altimeter set. Radio set, check. Transponder's on, primary unlocked. You ready to go? I am. What's up for 759? Affirmative. 759, clear to land 33. 1159, Zulu number 2, following Cessna, a mile east of the airport on the right base. Clear to land runway 33. Land 33, 1159, Zulu. Tower, Texan 2, ready 33, left down. Texan 2, Kissimmee Tower, roger left down with departure runway 33, clear for takeoff, Cessna, turn to the base. Clear to go, keep it on the roll, Texan 2, thanks. Alright, we're clear for takeoff. Final approach is clear. Runway is now clear. That guy that was blocking the taxiway, he's not blocking the runway at least. There we go. We're just going to keep it on the roll. Okay. And it's going to get loud in here. I got the squelch set. It's going to be hard to break until we're in here. Okay. But you seem to be doing okay. Maybe you had to adjust it. Here we go. <laughs> we'll lift the tail up a little bit. We're going to let the airplane just fly off the ground from here. Okay. And we're in the air. Landing gear's coming up. We're going to bring the power back. Okay. Alright, toes on the bottom of the pedals. Okay. You now have control of the airplane. So we're going to go through a basic up, down, left, and right so you get an idea of just how this airplane feels. What I want you to do is gently pull back on the control stick, watch that nose rise up. Okay. As you can see, it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure on that control stick. No, it does not. Let's go ahead and put that nose down a little bit. Right about there is where we want to hold it in relation to that horizon line that's out there. Okay. So that's up and down. Let's try going to the right, a little bit of right stick, a little bit of right pressure on that pedal down there. A little pressure on the right pedal, I should say. That's good enough for the bank. We'll control center of the control. For 3129 X-ray, roger. We're in a right turn. All right. Let's go back to the left, left stick, left pedal. A little more to the left, we'll do a left turn. And straight ahead now, we'll level the wings, we'll continue our climb out. There you go, that's how you fly an airplane. Amazing. <laughs> so we're at about 3,000 feet? Yep, we're going to level off at 3,500 initially. Okay. That's going to keep us below some uh, Orlando International airspace. Let's try turning to the right again, just a little bit nice and easy. Alright, straight ahead. Hard to see.
see the horizon line. Yeah, you kind of look up the side. You can use those triangular windows at the side to kind of see where it's at. Okay. Once we level off, you'll be able to see it a lot better, which we're going to do about right now. So go ahead and lower that nose. Nice and easy. Just nice steady pressure. A little more nose down. A little more nose down. About right there. It's kind of hazy, but you kind of feel the ground up. Yeah, yeah. With the lower part of that windscreen right there. Gotcha. And we're going to hang out here for uh, just a little bit, and then we're going to resume our climb once we clear some of this airspace. Okay. Yeah, the airplane's a lot more responsive than everyone thinks it's going to be. Yeah, it's very flies. touchy. Yeah. I'm very surprised, actually. You know, it's, uh, it's a big airplane, large airplane. Not yeah. very streamlined looking, it has a rather, you know, fun, flat nose up there, and it's painted yellow like a school bus. Yeah. So that's what people think it's going to fly like. No, it seems very nimble. You know, it trained a lot of uh, pilots in World War II, so... Yep. Let's turn uh, right just a little bit more. Nice and gentle turn to the right. There you go. We'll go straight ahead now. We didn't have to compensate for a wind that's coming out of the west. It's really strong. I can feel that, yeah. yeah. Stick though, nice smooth movements. What you want? So look around. This is Florida. Yeah, it is beautiful. Very, uh, very flat. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and lower the nose a little. Hold it right there. You know, learning. I've learned to fly in California, and we, of course, we have mountains on one side, and ocean on the other, right? Yeah, yeah. So really you have to be pretty dumb to get lost out there. <laughs> And then I came to Florida, where uh, when I first got here, all the water looked, all the bodies of water looked the same. It was flat, nothing but trees. It was way before these houses that were flying over were built up. It was nothing but swampland and forest. Uh, and I remember on my interview flight with the boss, he goes, after we're in the same area that we're going to go to right now, he's like, all right, let's, he goes, take me home. And I was like, man, I have no clue where to go. <laughs> <laughs> he got lost up. <laughs> yeah, it all looks about the same here. It does, so. yeah. So we're at about 3,000 feet? Yep, we're going to level off at 3,500 initially. Okay. That's going to keep us below some uh, Orlando International airspace. Let's try turning to the right again. Just a little bit, nice and easy. Alright, straight ahead. Hard to see the horizon line. Yeah, you kind of look up the side. You can use those triangular windows at the side to kind of see where it's at. Okay. Once we level off, you'll be able to see it a lot better, which we're going to do about right now. So go ahead and lower that nose. Nice and easy. Just nice steady pressure. A little more nose down. A little more nose down. About right there. It's kind of hazy, but you kind of feel the ground up Yeah, yeah. with the lower part of that windscreen right there. Gotcha. a little bit, then we're going to resume our climb once we clear some of this airspace. Okay. A little more nose down. There we go. Let's go right. And let's go straight ahead. Nice steady pressure. All right, we can uh, ease back on that stick. We're going to continue our climb. Okay. Hold it about right there. And then we'll make small corrections to uh, avoid going into these clouds over here. Okay. Let's 
just go right again while we'll avoid this little thing right here. That's good, straight ahead. It won't go to the left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Great job. Straight ahead. Perfect. That. Awesome. You want to try one? Yes, I do. All okay, right, you're an airplane. We okay. have the airspeed. Go ahead and just pull back on that stick. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Nice steady pull. Okay. Uh, stop. Now go to the left. All the way to the left. All the way. All the way. All the way. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing left and just hold the stick right over there. There you go. Keep it over there. Keep it over there. Not yet. And stop. All right. Recover from the dive. <laughs> There you go, man. You just did a roll. Awesome. <laughs> We're going to raise the nose a little bit. We'll get some altitude. Okay. All right. That's a roll. Now, the uh, next thing we're going to do, if you want, you want to do some more? Yes, I do. Okay, we're going to do a loop. All, All right. right. Now, a loop, we're going to feel some G-forces. It's actually less Gs than what you feel on a roller coaster, like if you went to Magic Mountain or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they, on those... Some of the big rides, like the, even the Viper, the, which was extreme back in 1990s, which is nothing today. Yeah. Uh, you'll pull like 5Gs, 4.5, 5Gs on that thing. We're only going to go 3.5Gs. All right. And you're like, ah, yeah, okay, what's the big deal then? Well, here's the deal. Our loop is like four times the size of those, yeah. right? So we're going to fill that 3.5Gs for a lot longer period of time. It's actually enough to make you go to sleep. Okay. So here's what you do. When I tell you to, take a breath. Not a super deep breath, but just take a breath. Tighten up your stomach muscles. Tighten up your leg muscles. Okay. And that's going to help keep the blood in your head from flowing down to your toes. Okay. Because I know you didn't come out here to fly, you know, fall asleep in an airplane. You can do Don't that on a flight home. Don't want to do that. All right. So I have control of the airplane. Okay. And I'm going to demonstrate the first loop. Okay. And have you do it. We're going to dive on down here. And we're going to let it accelerate to 180 to 190 miles an hour. 180. Okay. There's 180. All right, take that breath. Here we go with the G's. We're coming over the top. We can relax for a second and check out that view. <laughs> take another breath. Here comes some G's. Then we can start relaxing. All right. How was that? That was awesome. All right, we're going to do a left turn. Okay. All right, you're on our plane. Just hold the stick right where it's at. Okay. Relax your grip. Gently pull back on the stick. Just a slight back pressure. You want to try one of those? Yes, I do. Okay, we're going to get turned around. We're going to head back to the north. All right. We're eastbound right now. And we're going to head for that big giant lake that's coming across the nose right about now. Okay. All right, straight ahead for me. Lower the nose there very gently. So lower the nose, we're going to put the nose down, a little more nose down, there you go. Pick something over the nose and aim for it like we're going to do a straight and run. Keep that nose down. There's 180, take a breath, start pulling back on the control stick. Pull back harder. A little more back pressure, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Hold it about right there. Pull back, there you go. <laughs> Take a breath, there comes some G's. Oh, right. oh, nice. And release some of the back pressure. You feel that little bump right there? Yes, I did. That was our wake turbulence. <laughs> so that means your loop is better than mine. You kept the wings more level. Because yeah. we just flew right through our own wake. Yeah, I don't want to, uh, I want to keep things level. That was good. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> How are you doing up there? I'm doing great. Okay, you want to you do some more? Sure. Okay, we're going to do a barrel roll next. We're going to make the airplane fly a great big corkscrew through the sky. Okay. okay. And you're doing good. I'm just going to uh, talk you through the maneuver. Okay. So what we're going to do, it's kind of like we're combining a loop and a roll at the same time, but we're not going to pull as many Gs, and we're not going to roll as fast. Okay. So what we do is we dive, we get a bunch of airspeed, then we pull back on the stick a little bit, and we keep that pull all throughout the maneuver as we roll the airplane. Okay. What that does, that causes a large heading change to occur, and they call that barreling. Okay. But it also causes a really big heading change. Oh. Uh, and that's uh, where we get the corkscrew through the sky. So go ahead and lower the nose. 
Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. A little more nose down. Alright, that's good. We're going to get some airspeed. We're going to let the aircraft accelerate here to about 170 to 180. A little more forward pressure on the stick. Alright, there we go. Gently start pulling back on the control stick. And we're going to keep this pull throughout the whole maneuver. Okay. Alright, start putting that stick to the left. More left, more left, more left, more left, more left. As we slow down, we need to increase it. More left. That's westbound right there. We're going to keep rolling and pulling. And we're back to north. Gently recover from the dive. All right. Barrel. Nicely done. Raise the nose a little bit. Right about there is good. Let's do a right turn. Nice and gentle to the right. There you go. That's good for the bank angle right there. Maneuver? Sure. Okay, we're going to do a reverse Cuban 8. Okay. You're like, okay, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's an 8 in there, so... <laughs> what it is, we're going to, uh, it's a two-part maneuver, okay? okay. We're going to, uh, go halfway to vertical, 45 degrees nose up. We then roll the airplane upside down, like, in, like we're at the top of a loop at that point. Okay. Let's go straight ahead. And then, we're going to pull back, like we're doing the last part of a loop. So we roll upside down, then pull back on the stick. And then we do it again, two times in a row. And so what happens is a line in the sky, the airplane draws a funny looking Cuban 8. Uh, or a okay. funny looking 8 is what it is. You ready? Yes. I'm going to talk you through it. You're doing really good. Great. And we're going to roll to the left when we do it. So go ahead and lower the nose. We want to get some airspeed. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. We're going to keep it down to 180 miles an hour. Okay, nice steady pull. We're going to raise that nose, 45 degrees nose up. Keep on going. And stop. Hold it right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now roll to the left, all the way over, all the way, all the way. And stop. Pull back on the stick, take a breath. Here comes some G's. You want to do it again? We're going to keep pulling until the nose comes up. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And stop. Oh. Hold it right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Roll to the left. All the way over, all the way over. All the way, all the way, all the way. Pull stop. Back. Take a breath. Start pulling back. <laughs> and now we'll recover from the dive. And ease off that back pressure. There you go. All right. That's amazing. Okay, let's do a left turn. Time for us to start heading back to the airport. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice and gentle. Easy, easy, easy. Nicely done. Thank you. That's awesome. All right, straight ahead for me. And let's lower the nose. We're going to start a gradual descent. We want to get down to about 2,500 feet. Okay. All right, so we're going to lower that nose. I'm going to adjust that elevator trim for you. Yeah, that's it. Hold the nose about right there as we, uh, the airplane's going to accelerate. You're going to find you might need more forward pressure on that stick to keep the nose from uh, going up. Okay. As the airplane goes faster. We're just going to do this nice gradual descent. Kind of like what the military guys do, what you see the guys do at the air show at Chino with the two chef about a south of the airport Piper 1100 southbound.
Fox of Tango, so I've got the traffic on fine inside, I haven't got the second inside yet. Roger, he's about uh, 12 o'clock now, two and a half miles. You look to the left, you'll see the runway. 6105, show Tango, Roger, keep him to your left. Taxi 2 down to 1000 for the initial left break, uh, long break. Short approach, clear to land runway 33. Okay, long break, short approach, going up, please be Texas 2. Go ahead and line up with the runway. 610 Fox, try tangle free to change your position. Nice and gentle, there you go. How are you doing up there? Doing great. Excellent. We can start going straight ahead now. And in just a second, we're going to descend to 1,000 feet. Okay. For the overhead portion of it. He's climbing out, all right, he's no factor. We just start aiming for the end of the runway, the far end. And that's where we're going to be doing our break. We're going to be landing behind some guy that's probably right underneath us right now. Uh, okay. We're doing this for a couple of reasons. The one is for safety. Okay. Keeps that mm -hmm. at a higher altitude in case something weird happens, right? That makes sense. Yes. Hold short, three, three. We also do it, uh, because it makes us look good. Here, ground point seven. Okay. But I'll we'll find something cool, you gotta look good doing it. Yep. Section one, Kissimmee Tower, runway three, three, click take off, left turn approved, traffic uh, company overhead. We'll take off three, three, company inside, Texan one. Texan two, give room for company departing. Two copies. Surprised how bumpy it gets over here. What's that? Surprised how bumpy. Yeah, it's, uh... A little, little worse than normal. Love it, I love it. <laughs> All righty, let's start a left turn. On most of the, down to most of the approach here. Okay. okay. All right, because you're doing really good. Go ahead and lower the nose, nice and gentle, and start a left turn. There we go. Landing gear is down to lock both left and right. <laughs> always good. <laughs> uh, do you compensate with the rudder on this? Yeah, we're going to okay. always use a little rudder here. Okay, gotcha. Lower the nose for me. Here comes our flaps. You're going to feel the airplane really slow down. Okay. Okay, to the right just a little bit. Let's straight ahead now. Hold it right there. Landing gear's down and locked. Flaps are down. Trim is set. Prop and mixture control are full forward. But we're going to land long. Our goal is to touch down right about the intersection of the two runways. Let's start a left turn. And we're going to line up on runway 33 over there. Okay. Keep it going just like this. One, switch proof. C15, check them on. Just like this, just like this. Start wings level here. We're gonna wait till we get to about the center line. Left turn again. Start looking all the way down the end of the runway, okay? Okay. Hold it right there. A little bit of left stick. Hold it right there. Keep the nose right there. Gently start pulling back on the stick. A little bit of right stick. A little bit of right stick. Hold it right there. Start pulling back on the control stick. Pull back, pull back, stop. Pull back, pull back, pull back, stop. Pull back, pull back, pull back. All right, I've got the airplane. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> that was amazing. Texan 2, Tex via Charlie to the ramp. Texan 2. Was that awesome? That was great. Nice landing, by the way. <laughs> that was really good. You can open that canopy up. Get some fresh air flowing through there. At, uh, 